8th, uh, August 3rd, 2020, Point of Health uh, meeting. I will uh, call the meeting to order. And uh, with doing so, I will uh, also note that this is a uh, recorded uh, meeting, um, both um, you know, audio recorded. If anyone objects to that, please um, let your concerns be heard. Um, it's also being um, done remotely in accordance with um, town open meeting law um, guidance that's so, so directed by the governor. Um, so I guess we will begin. Um, Darlene, I'll, I'll turn it over to you for, uh, to run the agenda. Okay, thank you, Eric. Um, just as a formality, I'm just gonna um, give the, um, the access code just in case uh, somebody um, can't, can't see um, and they can just hear it. So um, if any member of the public wants to join by phone, um, you can call 1-224-501-3242. Again, that's 1-224-501-3412. And then you're going to put in the access code 236-529-341. Again, 236-529-341. And if you're joining by the computer, it's uh, gotomeeting.com backslash join backslash 236-529-341. Thank you, Eric. So um, I appreciate um, the board uh, coming together so quickly. Um, as you know, the, um, the governor um, has um, issued a travel order um, about a week or so ago, and it just went into effect over the weekend for August 1st. Um, that is uh, governor order um, for COVID is number 45. Um, that, um, that order um, was put in place um, for any uh, travelers that are going to be coming to Massachusetts. Um, and it does have a um, list of requirements for what people have to do. There are um, many exemptions um, that are listed and I think I had sent you a copy of the, um, uh, the travel order from the governor. Um, so we do have that in place. We have already started receiving some calls from the public, um, which we are fielding. Um, people were actually calling last week and we've gotten calls today as well. Um, in addition to that, um, because we do have um, this new travel order, and um, because we are in the, um, the height of uh, summertime and people taking vacations, um, the town manager has also um, created a um, uh, executive order number three. Um, and this is um, as part of other executive orders that, um, that uh, we have um, spoken um, about um, the Board of Health has worked um, collaboratively with the um, town manager to um, try to um, uh, take the orders that come out from the state and then figure out um, what, uh, what orders we need to put in place at the local level. Um, so I had sent you out a um, copy of the executive order number three. Um, and again, uh, short on time to come up with something. This is the um, uh, vacation travel um, order um, that the town employees um, are to follow. So um, very uh, similar to how the, um, the governor's order is set up. Um, it does have requirements for um, what employees are doing should they travel um, outside of the uh, lower risk states and then it has a protocol for that. Um, so this is something that has been reviewed by, um, by council and um, uh, we have had many versions of it um, which we were able to um, take and rework and um, try to uh, make it a, a, um, uh, a very workable um, order. So um, it is um, before the board. Um, I'm happy to um, try to answer any questions that you may have um, regarding um, executive order number three or the travel order from the governor. Okay, yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't have a chance to, to read through it. 
I didn't see any uh, any. I mean, it's reviewed by legal, and uh, it's pretty congruent with what the governor's order is, anyways. Um, so yeah, I, I have uh, no problems. Any of the board members have anything? No, I read through it as well and agreed that it was also um, right in line with what the governor had ordered. Okay, so uh, seeing uh, nothing, I would entertain a motion to accept the um, uh, town manager's executive order number three. I would like to make a motion to accept the town manager's executive order number three. Is there a second? Steve, if you are, uh, you may uh, be on I'll mute. There you go. Okay. Am I there? Okay, now we hear you. And Eric, if... Okay. Okay, yep, we hear you, Steve. Eric, if I can just um, uh, see if there's any um, calls. I don't think there's been any calls, but any um, uh, any calls from the public. Okay. All right. Are you able to check that? I'm, I'm looking in here. I'm not. I'm not seeing any. Um, we'll just give. So, okay. Just give it a second. So the first, all those in favor of of uh, approving executive order number three by the town administration, signify by saying aye. 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 Vote is unanimous. The ayes have it. It is approved. Thank you very much. And. Eric, if I may, um, each year we um, we do a um, uh, a representative letter um, to uh, Region Two, the um, Emergency Preparedness Coalition that um, the town belongs to, and um, typically it's this time of year we just send in a updated letter um, to the region, allowing both Eileen and myself to participate um, as uh, as representatives from Auburn Board of Health. No problems with that. Any, any of the board members have anything to, to object? No, I mean, that would make total sense if we've been doing it, so. Okay, thank you very much. Just an understanding, do we need a motion? Uh, I don't think we need a motion, um, but okay. I, I think as long as the board is, is comfortable with it, we can, uh, we can send that along. Okay, thank you. Thank you for asking. All right, sounds great. And if there's uh, nothing else on the agenda, I will uh, entertain a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn tonight's meeting. And I'll second that. All those in favor of adjourning, signify by saying aye. 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 All right, that is it. Thank you. Uh, time is 6.07. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well. Thank you.